Hi friends, happy Thursday. Welcome back to our mini lesson for today. Today we're gonna to continue being fluent readers where we're practicing not only looking at the words and reading them, but also reading them with a little rhythm to it, okay? So as learning readers, I know most of us don't know how to read yet, which is why you're here at school, but we're practicing getting in the habit of what that's going to look and sound like. So today we're gonna to look at a rhyme together. This rhyme is called Hickory Dickory Duck. And I'm sure you've heard this rhyme before. And I'm going to read it to you a couple times and then we're gonna read it together so that you can hear it and then practice it, okay? I'm gonna read it once the right way and then I'm going to read it kind of sounding funny and then I'm gonna let you decide which one sounded better and then we're gonna read it the right way together. So here I go, I have my pointer pup. I'm gonna touch the words as I read it. I'm not gonna slide it across because I might skip some words. So I want you to watch and listen. This is Hickory Dickory Duck. One more thing to mention before I get started. We've talked about our periods, but there's also something in this rhyme called a comma. So this comma right here tells me to take a little breath break also while I'm reading. Hickory Dickory Duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory duck. Okay, now I want you to think about what I just read, hickory dickory duck. Who ran up the clock? A mouse ran up the clock. What time did the, the clock strike? The clock struck one and the mouse did what? ran down, and then we say hickory dickory duck. Okay, so I'm gonna read it again. This time I want you to listen closely and see if you can hear something different this time. Hickory dickory duck. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory duck. Hmm, wow. That time, that sounded kind of boring. I kind of wanted to go to sleep. Did I change my voice at all? No, and I didn't pause while I was reading when I saw these little marks that I told you about, the comma and the period. So you can see the difference of why we're practicing this because we want it to be interesting. The first time after I read it, we could answer some questions about what we read. The second time, hmm, I couldn't even tell you if somebody asked me, what did the mouse do? I'd be like, mm, there was a mouse talk? There was a mouse in there? So when you're reading, it's important to read with expression like you're telling a story. So let's practice together. I'm gonna read to you and then I want you to read it back to me like we did with our reader's theater book. Let's start with our title, ready? Hickory Dickory Duck, your turn. Hickory Dickory Duck, my turn. Hickory dickory duck. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory duck. Hickory dickory duck. Very good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. You did a great job reading with expression and reading fluently, just like the first time when I read it. We will see more of these rhymes throughout our ELA units where we'll practice reading and becoming better readers. Keep up the great work, friends. I will see you on Monday for your next mini lesson. Remember, on Fridays, there's no read aloud and no mini lesson video. Sometimes there's a read aloud video, but there's not one this week, and there's not a mini lesson video this week on Friday. So I will see you for both of those lessons again on Monday. 